In this video, you will see Julian and Alyssa trying to compute the derivative of this function. As they work, consider the obstacles they encounter and think about how you might solve the problem. So when we're finding the derivative, we would have to take, like we know like the constants go to zero, and then you would take the derivative of like this piece and this piece. So then would you end up having like three times two, and then that would get you six? Um, possibly, I'm not sure because like the multiplication is like, I haven't really seen that before. So, but I know we can like write it as just like, like one equation, like, so if we like do the foiling. Okay. We can see it and like check if that's right because we know like how to use the power rule and okay so we're gonna try that yeah do another one so, um, if we take the derivative of this we end up getting twelve x minus one which is not the same. That's what I got. Is six. So I feel like there's something wrong with doing it this way. Yeah. And there's like steps toward missing. Okay. Because like this answer doesn't even have an X in it, whereas this version does. Yeah. Hmm. In this video, Julian and Alyssa tried computing the derivative of each part of the function and then multiplying, but that didn't give them the correct answer. We'll explore how to compute derivatives of products in upcoming videos.